Welcome to my YouTube channel, uh, your source for insightive analysis and in-depth coverage of the latest political developments in our country. In today's uh, analysis, I want to delve into a fascinating and dynamic situation unfolding in Kenyan politics. As President William Ruto embarks on a feast to Nyanza region, uh, a region we all understand traditionally seen as an opposition stronghold. Uh, we witness uh, the emergence of a fresh rebellion that could reshape the country's political landscape. We have all heard the words President William Ruto gave yesterday to his debut president, Rikadia Shawa. And this is a sign showing that these people are not together as the debut president is calling for a handshake with Uru Kenyatta and on the other hand, uh, President William Ruto is asking for a handshake with Raida Amorodinga. Join me as I break down the key players, uh, motivations and implications of this political uh, upheaval. I will also provide you with the context you need to understand the outcomes of this event and its potential impact on the future uh, politics of this country. If you are passionate about uh, Kenyan politics and want to stay informed, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so that uh, you never miss an update from my channel. Let us dive into the fascinating world of Kenyan politics together. Don't be left behind. So, the recent developments in Kenya, particularly with regards to the fresh uh, rebellion in Kenya Kwanza and uh, President Ruto's attack on Rigathia Shawa during his Nyanza tour, is the subject topic this morning. Firstly, I want to say that it is important to understand uh, this context behind the rebellion in Kenya Kwanza. This rebellion signifies a growing uh, dissatisfaction among certain factions within Kenya, Kenya towards the current political landscape. It is likely a result of various factors including uh, economic uh, grievances, we have political power struggles and a sense of marginalization or exclu exclusion. So such rebellions often arise when uh, individuals or groups feel that their voices are not being heard or their concerns are being ignored by the ruling government. Recently we have seen the reshuffles that the president did and that might be the major cause. So President Ruto's attack on Rathe during his tour in Nyanza adds another layer of complexity to the situation. And this suggests that the internal political tensions within Ruto's party or the broader political landscape might be playing a role in the rebellion. So, uh, political conflicts, especially within the ruling parties, are not uncommon in many countries and they can have significant implications for the stability and the functioning of the ruling government. So, to fully understand uh, this rebellion and its implications, I can say that it is crucial to examine the underlying causes 
and the grievances of the people in Kenya Kwanza. And this involves uh, the socio-economic conditions, we have political dynamics and historical context of the region. It would be necessary uh, again to consider factors such as an equal distribution of resources, lack of development projects, uh, corruption, and the overall state of governance in the area. The reason why the president is in Nyanza region, there are so many projects he is unfailing, and the projects Mount Kenya people feels like those projects will have been done in Mount Kenya and not Nyanza where they did not vote for William Ruto. It is also important to consider the potential consequences of President Ruto's attack on Rigade. While public uh, disagreements uh, can be a normal occurrence in politics, the timing and context of this attack uh, might have broader implications. I want to, say, to also add and uh, say that this could paralyze uh, Ruto supporters and opponents deepening divisions within his party and the political landscape at large. So such internal conflicts can weaken the ruling government's effectiveness and possibly lead to further political instability. Don't forget of what happened during the Jubilee regime. This is what the current president did to the former president. So in conclusion, the fresh rebellion in Kenya Kwanza and uh, President Ruto's attack on Rigathi during his Nyanza tour reflect underlying socio-political tensions and the complex dynamics of Kenyan politics. So, to gain uh, or to gain the understanding of these events, it is crucial uh, to focus on the historical context, uh, socio-economic factors, and the political motivations behind them. And that's what I've done in this analysis. Only uh, through, only that I can begin to comprehend the implications and see what it really means. But I want to say thank you for watching this up to the end. If you forgot to subscribe, kindly go hit the subscriber button, turn on the notification bell so that you may not miss my next analysis. Goodbye.